Greetings and uh, welcome. Wanted to take the opportunity to uh, talk a little bit about medical acupuncture as an approach to help with uh, all kinds of, of issues that may be um, seemingly unrelated in the Western model, but in the uh, acupuncture, traditional Chinese or Eastern way of looking at uh, pathologies, there may be connections and correlations and interrelationships where, where acupuncture might be a tool to consider. Um, some I've talked to as new patients uh, have already uh, been working with an acupuncturist. Others, it may be a completely new area for them. Uh, and for that reason, I wanted to uh, put this uh, discussion together for um, uh, sort of an intro uh, about acupuncture. Um, starting off in family medicine back in 1992, uh, I came into a, a medical practice in Southern Oregon, largely trained, doing what family physicians do and having done the uh, full court um, inpatient, outpatient, uh, obstetrics, nursing home patient care uh, from, from a family physician standpoint was doing everything I was trained to do in residency. But after what seemed about a decade, I was uh, finding a number of my patients with chronic pain problems to uh, be relying at that time, this was early 2000s, um, on opiate management. And that was the, at the time, that was the uh, uh, agreed upon uh, uh, standard of care for chronic pain, which uh, for many of my patients at the time wasn't something they really were all that uh, interested in continuing, but I had no other tools to really offer them. Um, acupuncture was something that uh, was brought up by a esteemed and uh, thank goodness uh, she was in my uh, world, uh, Dr. Barbara Gilbertson in Klamath Falls. If Barbara's still out there, a shout out to Barbara. But it was on her urging that I was trained in um, um, uh, medical acupuncture with the Helms Medical Institute um, back around 2001. And it was abundantly clear after that, a, a pretty intensive training program, not only was acupuncture a, a viable tool for, for treating pain problems, but many, many other uh, very common problems we see in the office all the time in, in primary care, from, um, from, from gastrointestinal to uh, reproductive health to gynecologic problems, uh, and a lot having to do with uh, psycho-emotional uh, disturbances that we would uh, categorize as mental health disorders but in a much different way than one might uh, approach it with uh, Western medications. Um, so ma acupuncture, I went into it with an understanding of, I want to help my patients with chronic and acute pain problems in ways that wouldn't rely on uh, medications only and be able to offer them another tool that would uh, uh, help, help them without adding more medications. And in many, many cases, well over half, they were able to come off of their pain medications, if not reduce their amount of pain medications significantly to the point where they were actually a lot more uh, active and uh, free of uh, side effects from, from, from medications. Um, as time went along, as uh, the more and more I was able to offer patients the experience of uh, what acupuncture can deliver, um, I was eventually asked to uh, return to the school uh, where I trained, uh, where I am uh, continuing to be uh, one of the senior faculty preceptors at uh, uh, the Helms Medical Institute, as well as with the Akis Foundation, which is a nonprofit involved with uh, training of physicians and care providers in our military arenas, uh, overlapping with the uh, VA. Um, and over time, I think the uh, depth of understanding of what acupuncture can offer in what I used to thought, I used to think there's no way that this could really have much of a, um, an impact on some of these more extreme ca cases. Uh, I'm astounded every week how this can offer something slightly different and that can couple quite well with Western acupuncture, excuse me, with Western medication or, or, or Western approaches, I would say. Um, it dovetails beautifully with myofascial therapy, with 
um, physical therapy efforts with chiropractic. So it, it doesn't, I would say, it doesn't get in the way of progress from other modalities. In fact, I like to tell my patients it plays well with others. And as an energetics approach, uh, French energetics is my background and training, the, uh, the results are, are at times uh, nothing less than miraculous and other times uh, helping step-by-step -step patients resume or regain something that had been lost uh, uh, over the years and are starting to find uh, uh, their stamina coming back, their level of energy, their what I call resilience or in, in physical training sense, they, 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 they get their reserves back. And that is not something I got trained to do as a family physician. We were mostly trained uh, to match a diagnosis with a prescription medication, which trust me is not always a bad idea when you've got something acute and serious and emergent and life-threatening. There is nothing, I may be uh, overstating this, but in cases of trauma, emergency, you, you find there's a lot of reasons why Western medicine has uh, huge advantages. I am mostly addressing uh, many patients that I see tend to be in the outpatient setting where they're dealing with more chronic issues. Yeah, many many acute illnesses, often uh, valid for acupuncture input as well, as well as uh, Chinese herbs. But, um, but acupuncture over the years I have found to be a very powerful uh, tool and uh, in some cases uh, it's something that I want to start some of my patients on because uh, they've been largely dealt uh, medications only, but they haven't really had the energetics or, or systemic energetics in acupuncture terms addressed. And that may be why their other treatments have sort of plateaued, um, or maybe they, they got to a point with their other providers and they just feel like they want to go a little bit deeper. Over the past calendar year of 2020, I would have to declare that the majority of patients that were coming in every week for, uh, if it was acupuncture, have largely been for psycho-emotional uh, disruption because of uh, uh, the, the state of the nation, because of the, pan the uh, uh, pandemic uh, uh, necessities where we, we have had to have a completely different way of, of life with, uh, with work, if there's work to be had, with uh, our education, be, be it uh, teachers or students, um, healthcare, uh, you name it, all sectors that have been affected um, have really left a lot of my patients and those who've been referred over for treatments uh, a, a little bit lacking what I would say a, a stable feeling like uh, they had two years ago. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm finding in a number of patients we have largely, largely have been focusing on their mental health and that, that dovetails very nicely with cognitive behavioral therapy and other um, uh, psychoanalytic or psychoanalytic and other forms of, of, of therapy uh, to feel like they've got a broader base and aren't aren't spinning or going down rabbit holes, and that can be a, a, a very welcome shift or change in the way they're going through their day to day. So, hopefully, that offers a little bit of uh, background on acupuncture, why I offer it as part of my uh, outpatient primary care. Uh, family medicine practice. Uh, it's not just for pain anymore. It's for many other other areas as well. So I appreciate you uh, watching this short video on uh, acupuncture and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to work with each other. Any questions, obviously feel free to call my office for more information. I appreciate your uh, attention. Take care. Bye-bye.